What is going on everyone? This is Enzo. Welcome back to another edition of my Chelsea career mode. We are in season two trying to win the Champions League. In our group right here we have Milan, Chelsea, Monaco, and Fenerbahce. Right now we are on two wins and a loss. Uh, eight goals scored, two against. We opened up the group with a 5-0 thrashing of Fenerbahce, followed by a tough home defeat, 1-0 to Milan, but we came back strong and took out Monaco 3-1 on the road. This episode, we're going to play the three reverse fixtures. Hopefully, we're going to get all three of those in there. If you guys want to subscribe to my video, if you like this style of video, just playing the Champions League, let me know or leave a comment down below. Let me jump right into... A couple sims that we have to run through before we get to the Champions League games though. First up, we're going to run through Crystal Palace real quick. See what happens here. Players are warming up. Let's see, let's just go ahead and skip this so we can get to the Champions League. We're going to take that 2-1. Maguire's injured, but Azpilicueta and Pedro with your, with your goals for... For the good guys, let's see what's coming up next. So that injury actually put Maguire out for eight weeks, so that is not good because this is our second string to begin with. It's just the Carabao Cup, so I'm not too concerned about it. We're actually going to go through 1-1 with our second team. Who did they have? They have Vertonghen over on Liverpool. That's kind of weird. Uh, Telles, Fabinho, let's see the rest of the team. They actually started a pretty solid lineup, but we're still able to get through with our second team. That's definitely a great sign. All right, so it looks like I'm going to have to rotate players more than I thought. This kind of came up last episode, but some of the starters are thinking they're being screwed by not playing because I'm saving them for the Champions League, but they don't know I'm doing a series here, so now they're asking to be sold. Uh, I'm going to have to try to rotate them in the team more frequently. They definitely don't want to be selling Dybala in the winter window, that is for sure. One last game versus Aston Villa real quick. See, we're going to take care of business 2-1. Our second team has been doing good. Jorginho keeping that second team up and running. Chelsea board says we're not on track. Is, we got the same sort of thing last last time because we're not investing in youth, but that's just not trying to do what I'm not what I'm trying to do with this series. But again, it's not like the game knows uh, I'm I'm doing a thing for YouTube here. So nonetheless, let's get right into the reverse fixture of Monaco. Let's go ahead and put our A squad back in and let's get right into this game. The ball up through the middle early here. Said he wants to be sold. Referee. Surely that's a free kick and a yellow. Campania trying to break Dybala's legs earlier. What is that, referee? Get that man off the field. Let's let's leave Asensio in here. Let's see if we can bend this one around the wall. Come on, up and over. Oh, way too central. Stolen by SMS. Beautiful pass, Dybala. Top net, the best net. Shout out to Air Japes FIFA right there. I don't know if anyone remembers watching him. I wish he still made videos. I'm sure a lot of people do, but definitely a big influence for me starting this channel. Dybala into the top corner. 1-0 lead at Monaco. Well on our way in this one. It's not going to happen like that. Oh, we got they get lucky. Keita Balde on the wing. Monaco putting a lot of pressure on here. Oh no, wide open in the middle. Chadley completely blows it. I think that was Chadley. It was hard to tell. I didn't really see the name. Or was it Campania? Into Hazard. Hazard. Serge. Through to Werner. Looks like Werner's going to be in here. Let's see, can we pick out an open teammate? We can. Dybala. Dybala. Second goal of the game. No. Right at Subasic. Dybala had the glory in his eyes, but couldn't tuck it away. Man, our team is on fumes right now. Literally everyone is out of gas. Who is this in the middle? Dybala on the left foot, just over the top of the net. Plays that one high and wide. Hazard in the middle is Dybala. Beautiful take. Dybala, he shoots and scores. What a goal by Dybala. Absolutely sublime pass by Hazard. Just shifted over four Monaco defenders. Dybala on the weaker right foot, slots it in the bottom corner. Subasic, no chance at all. 2-0 Chelsea. We are well on our way to the round of 16. Not clinched yet, but we, we are in a great position. Much of the media talk leading up to this game was about Hazard possibly leading the club. Leaving the club in the December window. He's responded with two goals in this one. 
think those talks are definitely going to be called after this game. Oh, Asensio was almost through. Nonetheless, we're going to take that 2 nothing victory. I think that puts us on 9 points. I believe the Stanford faithful is going absolutely nuts. All right, we need to take care of a couple more EPL games, it looks like, before our next Champions League match. This game versus Arsenal. Huge matchup. Let's see what we can do with our second team here. We're going to go down 3 nothing. Not surprising. They finally signed Marco Royce. That's something that's been... Seems like it's rumored every other transfer window. But having an amazing season right now at Dortmund, so I don't think that's going to happen. But by the way, Dortmund's so fun to watch this year. They're honestly in my top, I'd say, three favorite teams to watch this year. I haven't seen them playing a, play a boring game yet. Dybala is pissed again that he's on the bench, but... Well, now he's enjoying his gameplay, so... You know what? I don't want to. I, I want to. I want him in there for the Champions League, though. So I have to. I have to leave him on the bench. Sorry, bud. Let's go ahead and sim this game versus Everton. See what happens here. Let's see if we can take care of business. No, we go down three to one. So we might start having to mix these games up a little bit more. Anyway, back in the Champions League, where we want to be. All right, we are into our next Champions League game, match day five versus Fenerbahce. We are nine points here. All right, we're into the match day five here versus Fenerbahce, currently sitting on nine points, second place in the table. Let's see if we can go ahead and pick up a win and really seal our seal our fate into the round of round of 16. Let's see what we can do in this one. Should be able to definitely bang in a few goals in this one. You see the group at the top of the page there. Milan on 10, we're on 9. Monaco is on 3. So we're basically assured into the second round unless something crazy happens. Hazard. I uh, was distracted. I was thinking about the table. Terrible play by me right there. No excuse. Fenerbahce staging an attack here. Matthew Balbuena rockets one into the top corner. Not how we wanted to start off in front of our home fans. The Frenchman, the long-term French veteran, rockets that one into the top corner. Kepa goes flying, flings himself after the ball like goalies always do. Gets nowhere near it. Really, our defense is fall. We totally left him out to dry. We're going to have to make a comeback in front of our home fans here. Beautiful pass by Dybala. Springs in Hazard. Hazard on the left foot. Just couldn't get away from his defender. Is that going to be a penalty? Oh, wait. Are we going to get a penalty for that? Damn. I was going to say... I felt like I was thrown off quite a bit. Not really. I was just hoping. Let's let's see. Are they going to give us a penalty? I think they're going to give us a penalty for that. All right. We definitely got to make the most of this. Let's bang this one into. The, I haven't taken a penalty for a while. Oh no! <laughs> I had a feeling that might happen. I haven't taken a penalty for a long time. It was actually a pretty solid save by the goalie there, though. Let's see if we can bang one in anyway. Despite that Dybala. miss, Dybala on the left foot. Too many men in the way. Oh, they just have so many men packed in their own box. Beautiful play right here. Through to Werner. Werner's through on goal. Werner, men all over his back. Hazard shoots. Hazard shoots again. Gonna take the corner. Fenerbahce actually has a solid defense, I'm noticing. It's, I'm, I'm finding it hard to get in behind them. Hazard's going to cut this one in. Werner all the way on the back post. No one can get there. Referee, do not blow the whistle. Referee. Oh, my God. We're into the second half. We're going to have to make a comeback here. Going to start a break here with SMS. They have a ton of men push forward. See Werner. Hazard is wide open. Hazard is wide open. Hazard is wide open. In the middle. Come on, Shirley. Oh my god! How is that even possible? What happened there? What is that? Oh my god, if we didn't score on that, I don't think we're going to score in this game. Wow, that was... Okay, Dybal is back to being sold in the winter window again. Conte with the beautiful steal. Hazard. Hazard. Hazard inside, outside. Hazard on his right foot. Surely that took a deflection. What? That didn't take a deflection. Maybe it went off our own teammate. Oh, man. Fenerbahce. Oh, oh we got so lucky right there. That could have been the end of this. 
Di Bala. Hazard. Still Hazard. Hazard. Finding a teammate. Come on. Oh, that was probably going to be our last chance of the game. I thought the big man SMS was open at the far post. Oh, that would have been embarrassing. Oh, looks like we're going to drop points in this one and it's going to come down to our last game to qualify. And that's... Oh, Kepa. Oh, I hate when you accidentally kick it out with the goalie and then it doesn't let you cancel it. Well, we won't have a chance anyway. Oh, that's going to set up quite a finale. Let me see where the table is. I got to see where the table is real quick. Okay, you know what? So I'm looking at the table and... I guess we could probably just sim our next game because it doesn't matter at all because we are on nine points milan's on 13 so we can't move up and then fenerbahce is on four so we can't move down um man that was a tough game to drop because if we picked that up we'd have a chance of going first you know what i'm not worried about it anyone that we would have if we draw a harder team that's first anyway if we're trying to win the whole competition we would have to beat a team of that caliber anyway so might as well face them now rather than later. Let's go ahead and sim that last. Let's go ahead and get to that last fixture and then see where see where we end up. Gonna go ahead and sim this game for Sheffield United. Or sorry, I'm not Sheffield United. Sheffield Wednesday. There's a throwback. So this isn't actually a Carabao Cup game. This is actually actually an EPL game. They moved their way up from the lower tier and got their way into the EPL, but we're going to take the 3-1 victory there nonetheless. I think this next one is a Carabao Cup game. Knott's County, it looks like that is. So we got a little string of games here. Knott's County, then we, got, then we have Wolves, and then the Milan game. So let's go ahead and get these two games out of the way real quick. This Carabao Cup game, let's go ahead and jump into the simulation of this Knott's County game and see how that goes can't say I'm too familiar with them but let's go ahead we're actually ooh, we're barely gonna move through from karma for that comment but I should look into them I, I like I like finding out about new teams and new clubs I like I like or new to myself I should say but let's go ahead and sim this game versus wolves real quick see how this one goes hopefully we can pull this one out let's see how this is gonna go here oh we're gonna go down one nothing at or uh, that was away. That was an away game. So not the end of the world. Back into the Champions League. Let me clean up my office uh, emails real quick and I'll be right back. All right. So like I said, this game is immaterial. It's, we can't move up or down in the table. So let's, show, let's go ahead and sim it and see what happens here. We lost the home fixture. one nothing to Milan. So let's see what happens here in the away game. I'm going to let this one run through real quick. Dybala scores. Puts one in early been incredible for us this year he's so good in this game if anyone hasn't used him yet Asensio finally gets on the score sheet he's been MIA this year Chelanoglu pulls one back the amazing free kick maestro Silva puts one in Dybala man this turned out to be a great game bangs in a penalty 3-2 a classic this is a famous victory uh that was a terrible impression 90th minute yeah but this is the English thing right everything's a famous victory every every game is famous and historical you know but anyway, just kidding. Let's go ahead and so we're going to go ahead and f let's look at the final table real quick. So that that Fenerbahce game really came back to haunt us. We're going to go ahead and finish in second. So in the next episode, we're going to see where that put us in the round of 16. I don't know who we're going to end up drawing, but let's go ahead and let me show you the other groups real quick. Actually, that's, that's what we should, should be doing here. Let's see, let's move up. So group A, the winners are going to be Spurs with Hoffenheim in second. That's pretty predictable. Uh, group B is going to be Dortmund and United. Again, a pretty predictable group based on how this season's going. Milan and Chelsea, that's our group. Madrid and Roma, this is just like the group in real life. Again, pretty predict. these are really predictable groups here. Bayern edging out Barca. That is not predictable based on how their two seasons are going. Barca has been excellent at times. Bayern has been pretty poor by their standards. Maybe they'll turn it around second half of the year. Oh, this is that insane group. So Atletico and City go through. Now, actually, wait, these games are still... I'm sorry, I just noticed these are five. So, well, it's still going to be Barca and Bayern in this one. This one is Atletico and Man City. Napoli can't catch up. This is going to be Juve and Ajax. Ajax, great young team. Love watching them too. And then PSG, and then it's going to be Valencia. 
Actually, I guess theoretically any of those teams could go through, I believe. So the teams we could draw are going to be PSG. We could draw either U of A or Ajax. Yep. Could draw either Atletico or can't draw City, so Atletico's in it. Let's see, Bayern or Barca could draw either. Madrid could draw them. Ooh, we have some, some rough teams out there. Dortmund are in the running and Spurs. So, man, looks like we're going to have a rough draw either way. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm having a lot of fun doing these. I will be posting every day this week at 10 a.m. Eastern U.S. That's 3 p.m. in the U. Go ahead and like, hit the notification bell. If you want to leave a comment, do that too. I love interacting with you guys down below. So if you, I'm definitely trying to get some comments going. Whatever you guys want to talk about, I'll respond. Uh, anyways, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow with uh, the round of 16 draw. Peace.